Rio de Janeiro, for the last two years, Brazilian scientists Patricia Neves and Ana Paula Onyobam have been working out of an office that's just big enough for their two desks pushed together. At first, they worried they wouldn't get much done. Because they'd have too much fun. She's my best friend. Says Onyobam, starting to laugh. Yeah. Says Neves, laughing too now. Ever since the two met in college more than 20 years ago, she says, they've been inseparable, shopping together, having lunch and most of all just talking. All afternoon, about anything, husbands, kids, family, but also, about science. And it's largely because of this friendship that the two women have been able to launch a remarkable partnership that could finally make mRNA vaccines easily available to low- and middle-income countries around the world. The highly effective mRNA shots against COVID are the most cutting-edge vaccines against the disease. But so far private companies Pfizer and Moderna are the only ones that have succeeded in making them. And both companies have refused to share their patents and their manufacturing know-how. Now Neves and Anyo Bomb are determined to end the stranglehold. The tale of how Neves and Anyo Bomb came to mount this challenge begins with their diverging paths after graduating from college. Neves became an immunologist and soon joined Brazil's premier agency for vaccine research and development, called the Biomonguinus Fiocruz Foundation. Shortly before the pandemic, she turned to trying to create a vaccine-like treatment for breast cancer that would use mRNA technology. Then in October of 2020, early results suggested that the mRNA vaccines that Moderna and Pfizer were developing against COVID were probably going to work, 